Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Field of Glory 2, the campaign of Mithridates. Yes, that's right, we're playing this again. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've had a chance to play the game, and uh, hopefully that means I'm not rusty. Um, so let's take a look at our area. So I just clicked autofill. Um, it looks like the Romans have quite a series of hills here. We have a impassable river that effectively cuts off everything, um, unless these paths allow crossings. I'm not really sure. Um, I guess we'll find out at some point, but I guess it doesn't really matter because, you know, we'll cross here and then you get stuck in a marsh immediately and then you move over. So we'll see. We'll see what that means. Um, let's see what else we do we have here. You know, there's not really much I can do in terms of um, unit selection outside of getting rid of that scythe chair because it is garbage. Um, I wouldn't mind more uh, heavy cavalry, but I only have 50 points to go around, and so it's kind of, you know, choose your poison almost. I do think more uh, troop choices would be good, so I would almost want to get rid of these light horse archers, throw another imitation legionnaire, um, because if there's one thing I've learned is that we need a ton of infantry. Um, Let's see, cataphracts, cataphracts, so let's keep those guys together. Um, and we still have 28 to spend. I really haven't been sold on these light horses, um, like at all. So, and because of that, I'm just finding myself um, like javelin horse. I have to have one, I guess. Um, Again, just haven't been impressed. Um, Warbands, I've actually been pretty impressed with those. So let's add a warband. And I mean, I guess I could call that good, but it feels like I'm leaving a lot on the table, huh? I, I also haven't really done that much with my, um, all these archers and javelin men. They've come in handy, but they haven't come in handy enough. So it's like, you know, I don't have any slingers at all, but I have javelin men, like what's up with that? So let's go, um, light javelin remove, and in their stead, how about we throw in some slingers? Um, let's do that, and let's see how many we've got javelin men, slingers, archers, javelin men, archers, archers. Let's get rid of one archer, and then with that 43. I do believe I can get a, um, okay, I, I feel better about this. Great, so let's auto-deploy these guys. Much better, but still not great. Okay, let's accept that, and I can add a general still. Um, so Mithridates is probably going to be pretty key to some stuff, so let's keep him in the back there. Um, and we do have quite a bit of a regular foot. And that is something that I'm totally fine with. Um, in the past, I've talked a lot of trash about them. And I think, you know, I got my face and, and all that. Um, they've, they've proven useful enough. Okay, so we've got a checkerboard formation. Uh, Mithridates is here. I think I can use three. Yeah, three shows kind of his scope. Um, of uh, control. So if you hit three, it'll show that. So it shows that everybody here is within his little control zone. And then two again shows shadows, what you can, can't see. Um, so let's, let's just end this turn. Oh, I do want to add a general though. So I've got a general here. Um, let's add another general here. All right. Alright, now let's go. So these units here, I'm mainly going to use um, to scout out this area. And I am going to turn off the shadows because that's going to get annoying pretty quick. Um,
but um, scouting is always helpful. And uh, let's let's actually pop these guys up on top of the ridge. All right, now here um, looks like everybody can be hunky dory. To use an archaic phrase. And let's just move the general only. Um, and now cavalry, let's move up to hops. Okay. Um, okay, interesting. We're getting right into it. It's done. Um, so kind of what I'm trying to see here is, are there infantry all going to fall for this, where all of a sudden I'll have a bunch of cavalry and they'll be kind of trapped in here, or, you know, the ideal situation is the Romans are trapped here surrounded by rough terrain and I can kill them, um, but I think as we've seen from this battle multiple times is that whatever your ideal, uh, your idea of an ideal battle is, uh, kind of goes out because there's plenty of garbage going around. Alright, so all I can really hope for there is to hold the ground and um, maybe freak out some of the other friends of theirs. Um, I think I will move here. You know, worst case I can flank attack. I do kind of want to move up um, everybody though. So why don't we charge here? Okay, good. I was ready to run up the hill, but I didn't think he had enough movement left. Um, so basically what I did there, at least in my mind, was I want the Romans to attack from this hill. Um, because on the off chance that they get pushed back at all, it's going to lead to some areas where I can kind of push in and control them somewhat. Um, and I have a lot of troops here because I'm thinking that this is where I'll be able to flank with some of these weak troops. But again, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, best laid plans of the fuzz, uh, as we've seen, haven't gone well. And I am keeping my units really tightly um, in formation. And that's because I just haven't really um, been that impressed with my uh, battle skills so far. And so the biggest problems I've had is when things go awry, the um, the formation seems to be one of the bigger causes of that. So I just want to keep that going. All right, let's end this turn. I mean, these combats are always going to be pretty slow. Interesting. So the veteran Roman legionaries, uh, if you remember the last battle, I know it's been a while, uh, but the generals just got crammed together and it was a total pain in the butt. Uh, elephants, wow. Um, but here it looks like they're spread out a little more. And I still haven't seen the commander in chief, which makes me wonder if he's stuck here somewhere. Um, the other part of the reason what behind me moving up was is this is all rough terrain and they're going to get spread apart and so I'm hoping that the Romans are actually going to go into two separate little groups there. Um, but again, best laid plans don't often uh, work out as well as I would hope. So um, what am I going to do with these guys? We're just going to move them here because on the off chance someone's dumb enough to attack them I can flank them with something. And then what's going on here? Let's... Oh, what the heck. Yeah. Oh, it's even better. I didn't actually expect um, expecting the break. All right, well, that went swimmingly. That went way better than expected. Um, and they have heavy artillery. That's great. That wastes a lot of points that we don't have to worry about. That wasted more points. <laughs> wasted my time. Um, so let's move here. And again, they can move two. So we got one, two, and then they're stuck there. 
Um, so let's actually move this. Okay, that looks good. Fragmented. Will we be lucky enough? No, nope, no ready. And I can't because of zone control. I should have thought of that. Um, oh well. And again, zone control. All right. Well, let's turn him. And I think that that leaves it good. Let's move up a little bit just because then I'll encompass these guys. All right. And that was me hitting my water bottle. Oh wow, the Romans, oh, I totally forgot to fight that. Oh well, the Romans have two heavy artillery units. I don't know what to make of that. Interesting. All right, well, Valerius Placidius, no, Valerius Placidus is maybe falling for my uh, crappy infantry trap here. Looks like the most garbage troops are locked in here. I have still not seen Lucullus, but I'm assuming he's gonna pop into view any moment. Oh, there he is. Okay. So Lucullus has been sighted and he is way the heck back there. Now, if I were Mithridates back in, I don't know, whatever, um, in the year whatever, <laughs> as, as it were, uh, I would feel pretty good about this battle line right here. Um, but I am not him, and I don't drink cyanide to, you know, keep up with the Joneses or whatever his, his grand plans were. So I cannot speak for the success of, of what's about to go down. I would like to be able to attack these artillery units with my uh, javelin horse, because I think I'll be able to run away. But in the short term, let's just focus on what we can, and that is killing these guys. This is stupid. All right. I'm not going to say no to killing a couple of legions. Legionnaires, rather. I wish I could kill a couple of legions with a little bit of light infantry. And then... Um, I still have two javelin arrows, or two arrows, jeez. Um, I still have two things I can use, so I want to be able to um, use this javelin men to kind of screw with the elephants, because I think that'll be the best thing for me. All right, and what I'm doing here is I'm moving these units up, so that way um, someone's going to get pushed back and we can figure it out. Next up here, well, I think killing the Royal Legionnaires is really going to be the, the best way forward. And then, let's see, so if they attack the Cataphracts here, what happens? What happens? What happens? Well, let's find out. Yeah, must but not least, just uh, do some damage there. Great. All right, let's end turn. Um, please stop chasing them. So apparently the, the legions felt it best to attack those guys, so stupid. Oh, that went well. I'm silent because I'm thinking, but I feel like that went really well. The Romans are all jammed in here. That's good, right? <laughs> Alright, good. And um, my cavalry successfully evaded their cavalry, so hopefully I can actually entrap them. Um, 
part was that movie Entrapment. Was that about something? And Disrupted, that's great. Yeah. We're both Disrupted, so it's just a sad combat. Okay, so that whole area scares me, so we'll come back to that. But what happens if I move this cavalry here and turn him there? Let's move this guy right here, turn him. Um, hold on, let's, let's think about this. If I move him, they'll be able to attack. So let's move back, and then, well, that's kind of it for him. Oh well. So let's first charge with him. And you might be thinking, wow, that's not really great. Why would you do that? Um, because I can flank attack with this. And they are two turns away, so even if they run up here, I'll still be able to charge with that. At least that's what I tell myself. Um, okay, so these guys are quickly outflanking me. That's not great. Mithridates is still, as you can see here, um, everybody's within his little bubble of happiness. Um, now it's time to make my elephant moves. Because, I mean, really, that's what you gotta do. That's great. That couldn't have gone better. Um, let's see, Eastern Archers. So you can just shoot them from here. So go ahead and do that. Oh, shoot. I wish I had undone that. I could have flanked them. <sighs> Alas, um, well, you know, live and learn, I guess. Um, so let's get you out of here. Um, let's also get you out of here. So let's move you up, and then let's move you up. Okay, that went terribly, um, but come on, what, what is this? Um, but it could have gone worse, and uh, the way things have been going, I'll take it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's also move you guys, because I want them to have some something to do. Uh, okay, now what do I do with this? I'm going to need him to pick up the pieces when these guys are out next turn, as I'm assuming they will. Um, I'm also going to want you to be locked into combat, or just zone of control that. So let's do that. Um, let's move forward here, and then... These are not flank attacks, so let's move right here. And then let's turn ever so slightly, because that way I can kind of have my pick of the litter there. Um, also, don't do anything. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, interesting. So that went very well, because I don't think they'll get pushed back next turn, no matter what happens. And um, they'll run into some issues. I'm going to keep these guys here. Um, and let's, uh, I don't know, let's hold there. Okay. And I don't think the Legion's going to be willing to attack that Cataphract. But sillier things have been said before. Boy, this uh, confirmed turn is sure taking a while. I hope it's not because I was about to win. Oh, there we go. Nope, certainly not. Okay, so far so good there. As I said, um, this fell apart right there. Okay, good. Those guys were routed off screen, um, which means they won't be coming back. And as predicted, this whole thing just kind of collapsed amongst itself. Okay. Wow. Really? General Fallen? Immediately? You know, <laughs> uh, sometimes I don't know what to say. Uh, and that just answered my question. Can legions cross a river if there's a road? The answer is yes, they can. See, look, they're hanging out on the river. Bunch of slackers. Probably going for a swim while there's a battle going on. What a bunch of lazy bums. Uh, 
and that heavy artillery is sending up some party rocks. Alright, so this is gonna... Yeah, they're gone now. Wow. Okay, I take that back. They're not gone. They're gone. Yeah. Whether I like it or not, they're gone. Okay, well, the raw legionnaires were raw, as predicted, and um, they didn't move where they should have moved to prevent me from doing this, which is a flank charge with a 95% chance of success. Um, so, thanks, buddies. And let's just pile in, because if I can roll this guy up, then that'll take care of some problems. I sure as hope did some damage to him, so... You know, you can't always get what you want, but... I guess I'll take that. Alright. Let's... go to the elephants. I'm just trying to, like... I don't know, kill them immediately. Because if I can get a cohesion test in the middle of this double cohesion test, that can make or break it. And they're the ones that want to shove the elephants in the middle of everything, so, you know, that's their prerogative. Now then, flank charge. Let's see, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, now... I really should have turned these guys slightly before, huh? But I'm going to keep them here, um, because I must. I'm also going to utilize this, because these irregular foot are going to die pretty quick if, uh, if I have my, my way of things. Now it's unfortunate, because I'm still kind of stuck here. Um, I really am stuck. So let's move these archers out of the way. Let's move you guys up. And then these archers are, again, just stuck. I don't want to attack here because that's just a good way to... Well, let's see what happens because they're going to route. Okay, so I need to move them up. Because if I don't... Then... Um, then they could have flanked somebody. And if I've learned anything, it's that you don't want to get flanked. Alright, and so these guys are gone as well. Disrupted. Why? Alright, so then let's also move these guys up. Boy, it is tempting to charge, but I'm just going to hold off. Alright, um, last, last combat. Well, at least they dispersed. Alright, let's go. Jesus, come on. This is, um, this is frustrating. Oh, good. Okay, good. I mean, to be honest, this is one of those things where if I lose this again, I'm probably just gonna end this campaign and just be like, yeah, I lost the campaign. Um, because, I mean, what else can you say? It's just, um... You know, you can only play a battle so many times before you just kind of give up. Um, and to be honest, I'm just kind of... I don't know. I've beaten this campaign once, that this was a narrow-fought thing. And if I'm going to lose uh, four times on video, or three times on video or whatever, at least he broke. Um, 
you know, what's the point? And that's not to say that I don't like the game. It's just that, you know, if I can't win, um, is that my general? Yeah, that was my general. Um, you know, recording takes more time and it's something I do kind of for fun. Um, but at the same time, I know that at least like 20 people are watching these videos. And uh, someone died. Oh, good, a general died. That wasn't me. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is it's just making me question um, if it's worth watching or not. So if you have thoughts, let me know. Um, you know, otherwise, it's, you know, your call. Um, I'm happy to, to continue. But I think what, there's the additional stress of, um, I'm just charging because I need this to end. Um, there's the additional stress of, you know, is this something that will be interesting to watch? Um, so that's, that's at least where my head's at. Um, I hope that makes sense to, to folks. Um, because, you know, I, I do want this to be something that people find interesting. Um, so that's that, yeah, that's kind of where my head's at. Um, and I mean, all, all things being equal, um, I do enjoy this campaign and this game. And I know it's a shortcoming on my part um, for the, the lack of success on it as opposed to anything else. So, you know, there it is. My, um, my concerns laid bare. All right, let's kill this elephant. There was a battle I didn't show, I get fragmented, um, that I fought of this, this battle, and I, uh, I just spent the last, like, hour, it felt like, trying to kill Lucullus just to get some sort of, um, Pyrrhic victory out of the thing, and I couldn't even do that, and I got pretty depressed, so that's part of the reason there hasn't been an update on this one for a while, because I'm just sitting here thinking, like, well, what's the point? Um, but, again, is what it is. And some of these, it's like 2% chance. Do you, do you take a punter's chance or what? Um, I don't know. Alright. That looks to be about all I can do for this turn, so let's end it. And I mean, this battle's far from lost, too, so it's not like, you know, I'm, I'm being particularly, um, yeah, I'm, I'm being pessimistic right now, but at the same time, whatever. That's the way of things. Um, I do hope everybody had great, is that a flank attack? Yeah, just can't win with these guys. Um, at the same time, hope everybody had a great holiday season. It is the 3rd? 2nd? 2nd of January right now, um, when I'm recording this, so hopefully, um, your New Year's all got off to a good start. I think mine did. Uh, mine will be a lot better if I win this battle, but I've learned not to get my hopes up too much. But even the archer's legs. I like that. Straight to ratted. Oh, finally something went my way. Um, and so the other thing that I didn't say, <laughs> um, but to prove that I'm not crazy and actually garbage at this game, um, okay, routed, I, this is going to be a little embarrassing to admit, but I literally played this entire thing over, like the entire campaign. I was thinking, okay, well, if I'm at a really high difficulty, that's part of the problem, right? Um, because that's going to impact how, how well I'm, I'm playing. Um, even if you change the difficulty, it's not going to immediately make anything better, um, necessarily. 
And so I went back and I actually refought the entire campaign up to this point. I won every battle the first time, played on a pretty easy difficulty. Um, but yeah, so I, I played every battle, I won every battle. Um, and I was trying out a bunch of new strategies to just kind of get a better sense of um, is this something that I should be trying to do or, or what? And uh, I guess the lesson I learned there was not really much of a lesson at all. It's that I did fine up until this battle. Um, and that's that's the way it is, I guess. I, uh, I don't know if this is a plea for the game makers to balance it because I suspect I am, uh, in terms of people who play this game often, I suspect that I am um, unique in my struggles here, but then again, I did post on the forums, actually. This is how bad it got, guys. I posted on the forums. Um, hey, the elephant ratted. All right. Um, ugh, everything held firm? Come on. Um, asking for help. I was basically saying, so what's, you know, what are tactics that you all use? What's, what's the plan? Uh, and the, the response was basically, oh yeah, nope, those guys are really hard. And actually a lot of people, it seemed, didn't really have much of an idea of what I was talking about. Um, and then um, the, the other update I got from that were um, people kind of just commiserating with my, my suffering. So appreciated that, but it was still um, disappointing. But at the same time, it's nice to know that I'm not the only one out here who uh, has some serious Roman uh, versus Pontus struggles. But again, um, I'm sure I'm not the only one. And I, I don't know if this is a balance issue. I, you know, I do think that if, um, if this is where I think it maybe is somewhat a game flaw, um, not in like a really, this game is flawed sense, but more of in the sense of, um, you get new troops here, and yet you're not able to, so you don't have any of your veterans, you don't have any pike legionnaires, um, or, I'm sorry, any pikes to face off against the legionaries. You just have these imitation legionaries and a couple other troops. Um, so I know it's, it's a historical game. Um, so the, the way things are set up, it almost seems like you should ditch the imitation legionaries, just use medium foot, and just kind of hope for the best and sit out on some rocks. Um, but where's the fun in that, I guess? But now I'm just complaining, so sorry, guys. And I mean, I'm freaking winning right now anyway, so... I'm gonna, I, I mean, I know I'm winning uh, in the short term. It's not going to be a, a long-term victory because I'm, I'm going to lose a lot of these combats um, long-term. But at the same time, I feel better about that, right? I got Mithra Daddy's disrupted by some guy dying. Dude, 20% of your army's dead. You get disrupted till now. Jeez, I tell ya. At least they rallied. Alright, so first and foremost, um, let's just charge straight into here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, let's move here. So these guys aren't very good, and I'm going to lose the combat if I fight it. So we're going to fall back. Good, I'm not disrupted. Um, and I am going to stand right here on top of this hill, um, because I don't want them flank charging my cavalry. Um, these guys are going to lose and probably rout. No, nope. that's great. Um, can I attack you? Soon. Soon you can. All right. Mr. Daddies, what are you doing? So I'm going to do that because on the off chance these regular foot don't die, 
um, I'll be able to flank them next turn. And I don't think Slack Legionnaires handle being flanked very well. I do wish these guys would die. But it seems I'm gonna have to wait another turn for that. Um, and I can't do anything here because these raw legionnaires are attacking. That's it. My odds with these guys are about as good as they are with anybody, so it doesn't hurt. And I'm trying to order my combats in a way um, that doesn't totally preclude me from winning. Alright, I guess I have to fight here. I should really have moved these. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that now. So let's just hang back here and see what happens. Um, I'm going to keep these guys here because they're going to need to deal with whichever direction that um, hell approaches from. And then let's attack, see what happens. Health frame not push back. Well, that's no good at all. Um, so he's going to wrap. And of course, they're disrupted. Um, the good news is, I don't think they'll be able to flank me. Um, so let's do that. And they were indeed pushed back. Um, I had conveniently forgotten that I hadn't actually fought that combat yet. So, all right, well, it dispersed. Can't wait to kill this other <laughs> heavy artillery. That was a gift. Thank you, Lucullus. Okay, so someone rallied, which I would prefer not to have rallied. Make that two. Um, I just flank attacked some legions. Didn't really do anything. The light troops are retreating towards me, because that is how battles have gone lately. I do believe that I won't be able to move this warband to flank these guys because of these horse archers. That's too bad. I just want these guys to die. I really thought I had them, but I don't think I did. Alright. If some of these guys, you know, look at, look at these guys. 438, they're, they're practically fine. It's like a flesh wound. Okay. So... That's one thing that frustrates me. That right flank was pretty good. And the fact that it's totally destroyed right now is very frustrating. Very frustrating indeed. Okay, focus on the positive. It's not your first rodeo. You've played this battle many times. You've won it once. Um, so let's see what to do. So as I suspected, at the same time, these horchers are going to do a terrible job flanking me. So, I don't know, bring it. Okay, good, they're disrupted. See, that feels good. That, that seems more like a natural order. Um, so if I attack, there's a chance I get pushed back. But what if I get pushed back and they chase me and I flank them? That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, that didn't work out as planned. Um, 32 to 53. No, not good enough. Not good enough. All right, you get out of here and then shoot somebody because make me feel better. Oh, I saw a question on the forums earlier today that I would like to know the answer to, so I should really just you know follow up on that. Um, and it was basically asking, uh, can generals die from missile fire? And I don't remember if this was something that I had actually filmed, 
um, or if this was something that I didn't film because I ended up um, losing the battle, or didn't end up posting because I lost the battle. Uh, but basically I was just trying to see if uh, I could kill some of the Romans through sheer uh, force of personality slash um, You know, I, I just wanted them to die. That's all. All right, and now we disperse them, and hopefully, uh, I was hoping they'd charge in. Oh well. Because um, I mean, that's what I was going for. I just wanted the Romans to die, and so I was just trying to get some sort of pyrrhic victory, as I said. Okay, I did. I did talk about this. Good. Um, I just wanted to, to get Lucullus with some kind of sling arrow. Some one of the various piercing implements uh, that the Pontic troops might have had. Um, but alas. Alright, well that looks like it's about it. Well, this has been a very favorable terrain um, to fight on, and my cavalry is certainly doing better than it has in some of the past battles. I hope my chair is not making too much noise as I move around. It's, uh, it's a nice chair, but it's got some pleather on it, and I find that it's very squeaky. Party looks like it's pretty much over. But we are tied up, so not bad. And someone's disrupted. Hey, I'm always down for that. Who broke? Did I break? I broke. Of course I broke. Why was that a question? <laughs> Alright, let's see if my... No because they have us under control here. I thought my plan was finally coming to fruition, but they're not going to charge and do uh, a flank attack, even though my troops certainly would have. They would have jumped at that opportunity. They would have said, flank attack? Sign me up. That sounds great. Can I rear attack with this guy? I hope so. God, I hope so. All right, that's good. Hey, that's what I wanted, rear attack. That's perfect. All right. Well, let's start the party with this guy. It's a flank attack, not that it matters, because he's not in combat with anybody. All right, if I play this right, I'll win. If I play this wrong slash have bad luck, I will lose. So let's figure out what we have to do. Um, okay, first of all, this guy will die. Um, I think it makes sense. This is the only unit I can use to attack him. Let's just do this first. Okay. Great. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do that is because I had no idea what would happen here. And uh, clearly, status quo uh, prevails. And so now what I have is a bunch of disrupted legions right here. They have a lot of troops. Um, but I also have all this stuff. I'm not in really a great position um, in any sense in order to, uh, you know, affect a big battle change. I don't think he'll want to attack me here. I might be wrong, um, but I don't think he will. And then here, for example, um, I'm kind of forced to, to just hang, as it were. Um, but they're routing. You know, I can't actually do that much this turn. I thought I could, um, but I can't. I'm going to turn this way, um, because I want to kind of lock these guys out. All right, now, um, I will win this combat, and so I'm doing that because 
I really want to kill them. And I'm already kind of regretting that move, to be honest. Um, I should have shot some things at them first. But that's the way it goes. Um, and again, I'm just waiting for these legions to commit. And then I'll attack them. I think I'll be able to destroy these guys and free up, free up some units. Um, so that looks to be about it. I don't want to do anything here again. Um, so yeah, let's call this an end turn. I mean, at this point, I just have to get the Romans to 60. Um, you know, if I clear out some of these junk troops, not the... Well, that's not how to do it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, man. Well, at least I can re-attack them. Just got a bit more water. I hope that's not really annoying to describe. Breaks dispersed. Okay, great. Well, that was 2% of the Roman army. That was like a free 4%. That was great. Okay. So let's see, where are you going, buddy? Um, well, let's make sure you stay dead. And this will also allow me to swing that guy around here and join in the party. Um, Cohesion won't drop. Cohesion won't drop. But I want it to drop. Um, see, I'm going to lose this combat and I'm going to get pushed back. And that's just not something I'm prepared to do. Um, I'm going to lose that combat. This one, whatever. Okay, so let's... Let's go back to this party place. Um, first attack. Fragmented, great. Um, let's move you here so you can lock up some lock in some troops there. Um, hmm. Boy, you know it would be a real shame if someone were to attack you. And then you are to be charged in the rear. That would be a shame. Okay. Um, I think I also... Let's just move right there. Let's move here. Um, charge, because I don't think they're going to lose enough to push back. And then we can flank charge. Alright. And then... You just hang tight there, because now I can finally do my policy of, um, implement my policy of killing, like, four Romans at a time. And, um, yeah. Six Romans at a time, see? Policy's improving. Okay. Where's Mithridates? Okay, that's right, he's still there. <laughs> I totally forgot where he was. Um, I'm not going to engage here because engaging is losing. Um, however, I will charge you because I think you're... That was stupid. Can I undo that? <laughs> uh, every time, guys. Every time. Okay, some Romans dispersed. That's what I like to see. Um, and so my target with that cavalry, by the way, are these archers that are retreating to God knows where. I don't have any hope of beating those guys. Um, but these guys I do they've already lost like 150 men um, and I'd like to I'd like to kill them I don't really know where those guys came from I'm assuming they actually took that road that I pointed out at the beginning of the game that uh, 
where I was wondering if the river was fordable, if there was a road over it. And of course, it turns out it is. Yeah, so part of my strategy involves this guy not routing, so <laughs> see how that goes. Actually, all of my strategy involves like all of these people not routing. Well, it involves the Romans routing, but no one else. Um, so let's see what happens here. Let's um, continue the party, and let's go all in. Yeah, that increased my win chance. Didn't really seem to do much. Um, however, this is Lucullus. Look at that. Lucullus might be trapped. And if I can actually kill Lucullus, that would be even better. Um, routed. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. It's been so long since I've seen those words on a Roman legion. Just keep on killing them. Um, Mamilius Dardanianus. I didn't actually check his name, but he's not worthy of me double-checking that. I'm afraid to fight this one. Um, and then what do I want to do with you? What if I turn around? Just turn around. Um, oh, that was fast. Well, maybe I'll just use him to flank somebody. All right, continuing this party. Please, route. Well, as I say, next turn in Pontus. I'm kind of at the edge of my seat. They're at 50%. But it could all, all go to crap pretty quick. I just have to kind of keep them stuck, basically. And you know what would be really helpful is if one of these guys rallied. Um, that would give me a little more routing to play with. Um, because there's a very real chance of a route. Uh, causing me to hit 60% before they do, especially up here. Yeah. And so that was kind of the first thing I was worried about. But at least they're disrupted. Oh my god, that was fantastic. Okay. So they're at 58%. 58%, wow. Well, I was worried about that flank attack, like I talked about. Um, when I alluded to that, that's what I was worried about. Okay, so... Let's take stock. We are on the cusp of victory. Let's first fight the combats that I must. Huh. That's awesome. Um, so they can flank attack that next turn. So that means I have to do something about it. And by do something about it, I mean kill 12 of those legions. Um, now, you are right here, and you will surely lose any combat. So let's just kill these guys. Um, I'm trying to disperse them and just kind of clear things up here. Um, so now what I'm doing is, you can see it, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm setting up a flank attack, and it's going to be beautiful. Um, let's just try to flank attack here, just, I don't know, okay good, that's what I was hoping for. Um, let's move here. You guys are not cooperative, but that's fine. Um, 
great. I totally forgot that that guy existed. So the question is, will anyone route during the end turn? And if so, will any Romans rally? Rally. All right, guys, this could be it. This could be victory. Or it could be total, <laughs> total defeat snatched from the hands of victory. Um, like that first one I played. Oh my god, I love this game. As much as I was complaining about it at the beginning, you can see why. Alright, there's that flank attack. But the good news is, because I push back those other troops, I don't think they can quite get me. I don't think they can charge me from both sides. Alright, not fragmented. Oh, come on. Or, not routed. Someone rally, please, for the love of God. Dispersal's the opposite of rally. <laughs> like, literally, the opposite. Yes! Oh my god, we did it! We did it! Uh, I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank... Oh my gosh, I did it. Alright. Well, that was fantastic. We did it. Alright. You know, I mean, looking at this battlefield, too, we're, we benefited from a couple of things. Um, I just physically held up my hand and, and had a three, like, you know, three fingers raised. So apparently three things. First was that the Romans decided to throw up two, um, two heavy artillery units back there. So that was a free 4%, maybe even more. Um, the second was that I sat Mithridates back this time, and he didn't die, which... I think is a first. Um, and he was also kind of in the heart of combat. The third thing that happened is that um, this really screwed with the Roman formation, so it allowed me to kind of break up the army in two. And so at the end, they lost 59% of their army to our a quarter. Um, my cavalry really won the day. That's, that's what happened. Good job, cavalry. Good job. I'm, I'm pretty much walking on, on sunshine right now. Um, so. Let me read the start of this stage. 69 BC. Despite their initial defeat, the Romans attacked again, and this time defeated your army. Well, not surprising. We lost like four times in that battle forcing you to flee to seek sanctuary with your son-in-law, King Tigranes of Armenia. However, despite lacking orders from the Senate, Lucullus, a nemesis, has pursued you into Armenia, Armenia where he's confronted by a large Armenian army. So, when we come back, we will play stage six instead of me just giving up and, I don't know, deleting all social media or, or whatever. Um, and we're going to fight them. But this time, I'm hoping I'm going to have some serious Armenian support because uh, I could use that. I could use a lot of help. But thank you so much for watching. We finally did it, so I'm, I'm extremely happy. I'm going to spend the rest of my evening um, doing some really productive things because this has really encouraged me to do a lot of things. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you all had, again, a happy new year, and uh, see you next time.